So you want to fly somewhere exotic on vacation without taking out a second mortgage on your home to finance it? Then consider not going directly from point A to point B. An unconventional route might fit your budget and make your trip a lot more exciting. Let's learn more now from CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. How much money are we talking about to add legs? Anywhere from three to four hundred dollars per trip you can save if you take the map and throw it out the window because these are unexpected routes on some surprising airlines you either haven't heard of before or you haven't flown. You've, you've uh, put together some really <laughs> enticing alternate routes here and one of them starts at one of my favorite destinations, Paris, but yeah. you suggest actually going through Iceland first? Exactly. Now, I'm dating myself when I tell you this. When I was in college, all the college kids would go to Europe by flying Iceland Air through Reykjavik because then they'd go to Luxembourg and it was a cheap way to go. They yeah. never stopped there. Now what the airline is doing is they're saying, if you want to go anywhere that we fly, and that's London, Paris, Stockholm, any, and you stop in Reykjavik, they give you a free stopover and a hotel for two nights at less cost than going just from New York to Paris alone. And by the way, Iceland's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Now, there's now more service than when they used to fly. In fact, there are more flights now from Iceland to the United States than Sweden, Norway, and Denmark flights combined. Wow. So you've got a great route network, and people just don't know about it. Is it published on the website? Will you be able to find it? That one you can find on the website, but you've got to look. Let's move on to the next one. You say if you want to go to Jamaica, go through Panama. Well, Jamaica or anywhere else in Central America or the Caribbean, if you fly on an airline called Copa, once again, people don't realize they're based in Panama City, Panama. They throw in a free stopover, and it's a great deal for less money. So you either hit them on the way there or you hit them on the way back. Jamaica is just one example of where you can save a lot of money. I always wonder what kind of hotels you get on these layover deals. I bet you do. <laughs> 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 you, you know what? It's a three-star hotel yeah. or a two-star hotel. It's a shower. It's a bed. You spend no time in there other than showering and sleeping. <laughs> Enjoy your stay, Anthony. Thank you very much. No, it's yeah. almost free, Anthony. Get yeah. over it. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the next layover, and that is if you're flying nonstop to London, you say instead <laughs> go through Istanbul. He's still trying to get over the hotel. <laughs> the bottom line here is Turkish Air with a big surprise. This airline now flies to more destinations in the world than any other airline. Really? So you're gonna, yes, so you're going to go through Istanbul anyway, so guess what? You stop there, they throw in a hotel and a layover, a tour of the city. Why wouldn't you do that? And Istanbul is just a stunning place. It, it is. Really it's, is. It's amazing. And, it, and it's all right there. You don't have to travel very far to see the whole city. All right. If you're making the long flight to Mumbai, India, you suggest a stopover in the city of Doha, which is in Qatar. Right. Well, Qatar Airways basically flies everywhere as well, but you're going to have to stop in Doha. So why not take advantage of it? They give you a hotel and a two-day layover. Now, what's great about that is they've really beefed up the culture there. You've got museums, you've got art, you've got music, and you've got an amazing museum, by the way, of, of, of Islamic art there. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're adding museum after museum after museum. It's a great way to stop. Uh, the last one here is in the United States. You're saying if you're taking an Amtrak trip from Seattle to San Diego, you could basically, I mean, you almost create a hop-on, hop-off path. Well, Seattle to San Diego is just one example of a, of a deal that Amtrak doesn't even know they had. I had to call <laughs> them. In fact, it's not on their website. They don't promote it. They're not entrepreneurial in any way, but it's a great deal. It's a 15-day rail pass for $449, wow. right? And wow. you get to hop on and hop off. So in that example of Seattle to San Diego, you go Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, Santa Barbara. How much Jan time can you spend in each city, Peter? I mean, as, as much as you want. You really? have to just use it within 15 days. But Anthony, you can book your own hotels that way. Oh, oh that's true. Yeah. That's, or, you, or you can actually stay on the train and make believe it's a hotel. <laughs> 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 but, but the nice thing about this deal is, for kids under the age of 12, it's, on, it's 224 bucks. So for families, yeah, a, it's a great, great deal. And it's all over the United States. It's not just on the West Coast. Wow. And again, you have to talk to Amtrak and convince them that they actually might actually have this deal. They look and they find it. And guess what? They do. There it is. Yeah. Peter Greenberg. I like my hotels. I like to be comfortable, Peter. That's all. Uh, can you say the word upgrade? <laughs> <laughs>